What is going on guys, it's Tom with Gaming HD here and welcome to this informed Jermaine Defoe play review. The 83 rated English striker who plays for Sunderland. He has 4 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves and medium low work rates and he cost me 20, 27,500 coins. Now the like target for this video is 15 likes, we've been smashing the like button on the last few videos so I hope you will smash this target today. Um, I want to apologise for not really uploading that much, uh, I've been in and out of hospital, I've had a, a couple of like things wrong with me. And uh, one of the things is that I'm, uh, I've got glandular fever, which means that a lot of the time I'm out of breath. So if I do sound out of breath in this video, I do apologise for that. It's only because of the glandular fever. It's not because I'm getting quite fat. Um, on screen is the team that I put Jermaine Defoe in. I started off with a different team. It was a 4-1-2-1-2, and it just wasn't working at all for me. And I was absolutely getting furious with the game, uh, throwing the controller. And this team seemed to work. We got three wins out of three with this team. Um, he was scoring in the other team, but it wasn't really as good as this team. Let's move on to some of his base card stats. He has 80 pace, 88 shot, 68 passing, 84 dribbling, 30 defending, and 72 physical stats. On screen are his in-game stats. They'll be linked to Footwiz, so you can check those out in more detail and compare it to his normal card. Now, Jermaine Defoe has been playing very well for Sunderland recently, and um, I think he'll be the saviour that keeps him up this season. Uh, some of his in-game stats, he has 90 uh, attacking positioning, 93 balance, um, 93 shot power, 89 finishing and 85 long shots. So on screen are some of the clips that um, I managed to get with Defoe. Uh, he seems to be ve a lot faster than his card says now. What I mean by that is when he gets the ball at his feet, he doesn't seem that fast. But his um, the way he, he makes his runs, like he sits on the last defender... And uh, the way he makes them runs, he seems a lot quicker than the defenders that are around him. So um, he seems to get off well, seems to get to the ball, seems to be able to finish it. And that's something that I really liked about this card, the way that he sits on the last defenders. And if, um, obviously, you've got the ball in your own uh, um, half, you can play a, a through ball and he'll run onto it and latch onto it and score goals. You can see a lot of the, the, the goals I score is nowhere near the defenders and it's because of the runs he makes and that what's what makes him... A very good card. That was a lot harder to say than I thought it would be. Um, his composure in front of goal is brilliant. You can see here he's got a defender on his back. Still slots it past the keeper. Um, I didn't manage to get this clip properly. So um, that's one of his long shots he scored. It was a very good goal indeed. Past uh, Mandanda I think. I mean Mandanda's not the best at long shots. But um, Defoe still slotted it past him. Um, long shots was something I wanted to mention. For this card, he's got 85 long shots, and obviously with Defoe, you assume he's like a poacher, in and around the box goals, but he can hit them from distance, and that's in real life and in the game. It's really, really good to see. Um, like I said, he makes good runs. You can see here his composure in front of goal is just incredible. It doesn't seem to, to bother him at all, being one-on-one. -on -one. Um, the negatives, is a bit weak, so obviously you need to try and like play the through balls, getting past that. His uh, composure on the ball is very good. He, he can obviously hold the ball up a tiny bit. He's not as good as the stronger players. But um, sometimes he has a bit of strange positioning. Um, he seems to drift a bit wide. Um, but I don't know if that's just because of the formation I play him in. But obviously you can change that so he stays more central in the instructions before the game. But I don't tend to do that. So um, I try and play the players as they are so you can get more of a feel of how good they play. I try not to put chemistry styles on and stuff like that. So um, he got a 9 out of 10 for his price, a 7.5 out of 10 for his positioning. Being English in the English League, he only got a 6.5 out of 10 for hybrid ability, 9.5 out of 10 for enjoy uh, for playability, sorry, and a 10 out of 10 for enjoyment. I absolutely love this card eventually. Um, at the start it was a bit dodgy, but I absolutely loved it once it got going. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and until the next video, goodbye.